Hi guys, welcome to World Rally Sport Rally. Back again, more wrestling chat for you today. And today we're going to do a wrestling news video for you. Loads of news to go over. Hope you enjoy my videos. If you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you do. And help me out a lot if you press that subscribe button just down there. Trying to get to 50 subscribers. I've got a couple more this week, so thank you for that. That helped me out a lot. Thanks guys. Right, so let's get into the news then. From this weekend and today. Saturday night at the Battleground Championship Wrestling event in Philadelphia. At the end of the show, Sandman came out. Well, Sandman, I've not seen him for ages. He came out with his kendo stick. And in the ring, by the way, guys, was Bully Ray, RVD and the Sandman. Oh, can you believe that? So that was great. And uh, Sandman got in the ring and all the crowd started chanting EC Dub. EC Dub. Great stuff. If you want to go watch that, guys, give a shout out to this guy on YouTube, Tom Gibney JR on YouTube. Bit of a shout out for you there, Tom. He, he has got some footage of that. It's really good as well. Older ECW wrestlers in the ring. So nice to see Sandman back. Good stuff there. Another wrestler who came back at the weekend, Scott Steiner. Not had a match since January 2020 on NWA. So um, a year and a half ago. And of course, he had a heart attack last year. But he's uh, feeling better now. He had a match versus Jerry the King Lawler at the weekend. And uh, it's on YouTube, guys, if you watch it. I was a bit shocked. He came out to... Holler, if you hear me. Oh, I love that music. So I didn't know he had that music, actually. I actually thought WWE owns the music. They do not, because he wouldn't be using that if he did. And he came out with his shades on. <laughs> Got a knowing there. I had a match with Jerry. Uh, Jerry the King Lola won this match. So a loss for Scott Steiner. Nevertheless, nice to see Scott Steiner back in the wrestling ring after his heart attack. So he's doing well. Brilliant stuff there. Let's talk about Raw tonight. There was a tag championship match for, for the championship. And we've got new women's tag champions. Nikki A.S.H. and Rhea Ripley beat Tamina and Natalia, And they are the new women's tag champions. Well done to Nikki A.S.H. and Rhea Ripley. Good stuff there. Bit of a change, bit of a mix-up on Raw so uh, that was good that I watched earlier. Happy for them. Right, let's chat about Impact. Bit of Impact news for you guys. We've got uh, Heath Slater news and Sammy Callihan. Let's chat about Heath Slater. This is from Fightful. Show what's up over there. Fightful. Great uh, news and great podcast as well. I listen to them. Go and check them out, guys. Heath Slater returned at the recent Impact tapings. Wasn't noted exactly what he did. I don't know if it was a match, guys, or he was just there. But uh, he's been out for 11 months, guys. 11 months due to um, two hernias. Lots of surgeries on his legs. So I'm really glad he's back and feeling a lot better. He's slighter there. Good stuff for Heath. A bit of sad news about Callihan, Sagan, Sammy Callahan, guys. He suffered a broken ankle at the impact tapings this week. And had, he's already had surgery. And he looks to be out until spring 2022. That's from Dave Meltzer. What a shame. One of the best wrestlers on Impact. One of the best wrestlers they have. He's now out till next year. So, oh, what a shame that is. I saw that tonight on Twitter. So there we go. That's all the wrestling news, guys, for today. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.